Shane McMahon is gone. So here's here's the uh, story. As quickly as he reappeared in WWE, Shane McMahon is now out of WWE. Dave Meltzer reported the news Wednesday, confirming an earlier report by Ringside News. Meltzer said McMahon is out of the company, but it is unknown whether his talent deal was terminated or if the plans for him the next two months were simply dropped. After nearly a year away from entering action, 52-year-old Shane McMahon made his return in Saturday as a men's Royal Rumble, entering at 28, later eliminated by Brock following the Rumble. Meltzer said on Observer Radio, there was a lot of heat on Shane due to his booking of the men's Royal Rumble, a role which he has performed and has helped with in the past. While Meltzer didn't have all the details at that time, he said McMahon, quote, had an idea of what the Rumble was going to be, and then a lot of that ended up being changed, which rubbed some people the wrong way. And Drazarian tweeted there were numerous changes for what number Bad Bunny would be in the Rumble. Bro, this is not one of the big issues with this Royal Rumble. This was a cause for concern. People within WWE were upset. WWE doesn't want to come off negatively with such a major outside star. Us, in theory, effectively replaced McMahon. Here's the problem with the Rumble, bros. It's boring. Doesn't matter if Bad Bunny was in first or 28th. It was boring. Doesn't matter when Shane McMahon showed up. It was boring. It was a boring Rumble. And, I mean, why? Well, I mean, part of the problem was their own fan base started expecting a bunch of AEW stars, which wasn't going to happen. And then I tweeted about that made people mad. I'm sorry. I should have lied. And then got you really excited, and then nothing happened. Then you would have been even more angry. You had, a, you, had, you had 29 people in the Rumble that not one fan thought had any chance of winning. Maybe maybe there was one guy, Drew McIntyre. But I couldn't think of it. Who else in that Rumble, when you were watching the Rumble, you thought, oh, you know what? That guy might win this year. Bob Rude. Oh, he might take it. <laughs> so when you have, here's a problem. You geeks. When you book a promotion... And you let, like, two guys get over, then you're going to have a boring rumble. Because everybody knows nobody is going to win that Royal Rumble. Nobody nobody was going to think that Bad Bunny was going to win the rumble. Nobody was going to think that Johnny Knoxville was going to win the rumble. I guess my buddy Mark thought Sami Zayn was going to win, but come on. No one thought anybody was going to win that rumble. It was a bunch of dudes just going in and and doing whatever. It's boring. I said it was boring on Sunday. Made some people mad, and it turns out they thought it was boring. So boring, in fact, that the combination of a boring rumble, Shane trying to book a rumble around himself at 52 years old, ends up getting the guy out of here. Did you hear the ideas of matches? I've now heard three different matches for Shane McMahon for WrestleMania. Okay, you want to know what they are? The three matches I heard over the last couple of days for Shane McMahon, which also changed countless times, Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, and Austin Theory. Bruh. Listen, I'm not the biggest fan of Shane going to WrestleMania to face Bobby Lashley or Austin Theory or Seth Rollins, but... Dude, maybe this guy was irritating, and I know he was irritating because I heard all about it. Irritating trying to put this match together, and he he pissed people off and and all this and that. Like, that's all fine and good, but, bro, if you fired him because the Rumble was boring, uh, that's a scapegoat. That's what that is. Anyway, he's gone for now. Would it not be remarkably short-sighted to... (laughs) I mean, I know you're a family member and all, but still, you're... Like, there's the possibility that the Rumble went so sideways that they fired Shane outright. I don't believe that for a second. And I don't know anything about any of these situations. Well, it wasn't all it was it wasn't all that it was boring, but it was like he tried to take charge and he irritated people and tried to make it about himself. I heard all sorts of things about this guy. I mean, he had tons of heat that night. Well, I'm, you know, I can't. I don't have any firsthand knowledge or even secondhand knowledge of any of that, so I can't. I can't really speak on it. But 
to, I mean, if this is going to be the end of Shane, uh, and it, it, it stems from the rumble. I mean, I just, what kind of, what a mess. What an absolute mess. Uh, you know, Shane and Austin Theory as a feud can make sense. You know, you can make, I mean, as far as getting Vince's heart or something, like there's a way to play that where you can actually maybe elevate Austin Theory in theory, the problem is he's got to then work with Shane McMahon, and I don't see how that helps him at all. Inside the ring, it would be a purely storyline thing, and I, they aren't good with that <laughs> for the most part. So I, I don't know. It's just a, it's a wild story. Uh, him being involved in booking the Rumble makes absolute sense. He's been there for thirty years, uh, you know, for the most part, and and him having a knowledge of doing, you know, spots in that makes sense. Now him being involved in it and the possibility of him facing any of those three guys, especially Bobby Lashley, is baffling to me. Thank the same thing with Shane, with Seth, although you know, there's at least a little bit of a line you can draw because we've seen Shane and Kevin Owens. So I can imagine, you know, Seth Rollins just doing amazing things, you know, trying to to make Ke uh, Shane McMahon look good, but the one with Bobby Lashley, it's like how do you make that work other than Bobby kills him in 17 seconds? Like, bro, he's going for the title. It's about okay. time that Shane McMahon here's became the, the WWE champion. Even in, he deserves it after well, all these the years thing. of falling even, off things. and Even in stupid wrestling land where you could try to come up with a reason. I mean, no, I mean, this is a completely different situation. But AEW decided, well, we're going to have Lance Archer face uh, Hangman Page. And they just come, you know, basically shoved him a into a position. Now, after three weeks, we're having a Texas death match for the title. That was a little much for me. But it's not the end of the world. Not really that big of a deal. I can shake it off. How you put Shane McMahon in a world championship situation against Bobby Lashley, who's coming off facing the Brock Lesnar's and the you know those people of the world? I mean, I, I you know that that's a bridge too far. Even with WWE's creative aspect, they'll put on it, or we're all a show, or whatever they're going to say. It's just bizarre. And even if he was going for the title, he still should get killed in about seventeen seconds. Period. Crazy. Well, you know, there's a. Uh... What year is this that we have here? 22. I know that, but like WrestleMania 30 what? What, what WrestleMania is this? 38 or something like that? 37, 38? God, it was 85. So yeah, whatever the hell is. 37, 38, yeah. I'm trying to find out uh, something here, which I guess I'll, uh, yeah, I'll find it out later. Somebody was like, well, you know, uh, if they would have gone to uh, WrestleMania, I mean, Austin Theory would surely have beaten Shane McMahon. But would it have surely? Him? <laughs> but, but my point is, surely. <laughs> well, um. yeah. Remember when they did Shane McMahon versus The Miz, and uh, this was uh, WrestleMania 35, which would have been uh, 2019. Remember who won that match? It's Shane McMahon. False count anywhere. Shane McMahon beat The Miz at WrestleMania, because of course he did. Because then he was booked as the best in the world. Guys, remember that. When he was Ugh. the best in the world, yeah, I do. That was an absolutely horrible, horrific, horrendous storyline. He was the best in the world. <laughs> Let's see what they did last year. Was he around last year? I'm trying to point out here that anyone thinks of the idea that, oh, you know, for sure he'd be uh, elevated. No, I guess he lost to Braun Strowman last year. Remember that guy? Remember Braun Strowman? Hey, girl. How was your New Year's? Oh, it was so much fun. Brooks and I put our boots on, and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so you. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? <laughs> Wendy Chu? Then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.